time for another midnight update today i am working on this guy remember this guy this is the uh solar generator that i uploaded it got a lot of views a lot of views it got a lot of hate there's a lot of people in the internet that well they're they feel that they they were being attacked i guess right i don't know listen not everyone can build stuff if you bought a Kodiak, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Don't worry about it. You know, just because we can make something that's equivalent or better doesn't mean you have to hate on it, all right? For all the haters that said uh, that this was nowhere near the Kodiak, right? Some said, where are the Kodiak has 12 volt uh, sockets, right? Well, guess what? This one has 12 volt sockets too. You can put stuff in there up to 20 amps and it'll power it it has the same thing 30 amp uh this is for an rv people are saying what is this 2 240 this is not a 240 so 125 uh 120 volt 30 amp plug this one right here is uh very popular in the rv world you plug that in there and it'll power your rv um some people were saying that i didn't know how to count because i said that it has eight of the USB port, but people could only see six of them here. Well, apparently you guys don't know how to count, because look at this. What do you guys think these are? These are USB ports, right? Um, some people said that this one didn't have an expansion port so that you can connect an external pack. That's not true. That's what this blue one here. Uh, I'm going to plug this thing in here, but that's still yet to come. I'm still working on that project. All right, um, let's open it up and then go inside and show you. There we go, look at that. Now, some people said that they didn't see any fuses in here. And that is true, there are no fuses because this thing has something even better. It's got relays. Now, some people were confused and they were saying, what? are the reason to have relays. Well, those there are my fuses. They're better than fuses. In fact, they are uh, circuit breakers. How do they work? Well, let me show you. This is how they work, All right? So the battery is on. Let's turn it on. Let's turn our inverter here. There we go, All right? Now let's put a real load. This is about a thousand watts. Plug it in. There we go. Here's another thing that people said. This thing is not as good as the Kodiak because it doesn't have fans. What are you guys talking about? There's fans right there. There's one fan here. There's another fan there. There the input here, input there. Uh, it, they turn on at the same time that the ones inside the uh, inverter does, right? So here we go. Right, so this one's pulling about a thousand watts, right? Let's say that my yeah, let's turn that off. Let's say let's say that my cabling couldn't handle more than a thousand watts and I wanted a set uh limit, right? So it didn't do that. Okay, look, you just go here. This is over power uh protect. You click on that, look at that. You see that? It's a thousand. It says a thousand watts. So this will trigger those uh, relays that are in here. It will turn them off if the power goes above a thousand watts, right? So we just have to actually change it slightly. There we go. So to, in order to turn it on, you have to make sure that the little bubble is green. And you do that by playing OK. There we go. So that's OK. That's green. So that means it's going to protect, right? Let's turn it on. All right, here we go. Let's see. When it gets above a thousand, boom, look at that. A thousand watts, it shut off. Because it knows that for some reason you don't want it to, to, to keep working past a thousand watts, right? So, of course, my power... Uh, you know, my cabling can handle more than a thousand watts, so we're going to turn that off. But there's another way that you can actually look at this. 
uh, and then uh, it's like right here right so if you're cabling if your batteries if all your equipment can handle a thousand or a hundred amps right regardless of what the wattage is uh, then th that's okay right you can choose either on watts or on amps and you know I'm gonna in this scenario I'm gonna choose a hundred amps and I'm just gonna leave it there if in case 100 amps what is that that's like 3000 no that's 2500 uh watts which the inverter can totally do my cabling can totally do but i'm just gonna leave it at a hundred right there we go hey come on so make it make sure that it's green there we go turn it on i guess when it's uh yeah when it's red okay there we go so now it's on okay let's talk about another thing that people said give me criticism people said the criticism because of the batteries the batteries have their own BMS they're not any less safe than the Kodiak they think that the Kodiak is really safe and this is a bomb that's what a lot of people said that's dumb that's something that someone really ignorant would say because the Kodiak just has about the same type of batteries. They're 18650s, which are better batteries than these, but you know, not not that much better, right? So, so this is good. It's got protected. It's got six of these packs. Uh, another people, someone else said, "Oh, that's so dumb. You didn't separate them because there's a bunch of batteries on the bottom that I should have put something in between them." I actually did, and I talked about it on the previous video, but. Apparently, if I don't show it to you, it's not real. Apparently, yeah, a lot of you guys uh, are lacking a lot of um, imagination. And so, if I don't show it to you, then, uh, well, it doesn't exist. But it does exist. It's right there. The fans are there. This thing is ready to go. It's got about a kilowatt hour. 1.2 kilowatt hours worth of power. And um, it's ready to go. The next thing that I'm going to do is build the expansion pack uh, that goes into this plug this is for solar I'm going to show you next time also how to plug in the solar and um, yeah that's uh, by the way if you guys want to check out those batteries uh, you can get them uh, the link below they're by uh, batteryhookups.com these are about 25c cells they can do about 200 amps right we are throwing them down to 20 amps because we're using that bms but because we have six of these packs it's about 120 amps more than enough to power this guy and when we add the external pack then it's going to double that so it's going to be able to do like 6,000, you know watts uh output out of you know with the bms's that it has in there um so that's good you plug in the uh the charger here if you want to plug it off the wall or you plug the the solar panels in here if you want to plug them out here um yeah this is better still better than the kodiak i'm sorry to say that internet I'm sorry to hurt your feelings but uh this is still better than the kodiak there's nothing wrong with that enjoy your kodiak if you bought one all right thank you for watching this video I'll see you guys in the next one bye all right, next time I'll address the missing solar charge controller. A lot of you guys said, where is it at? And I guess you guys don't realize that it's inside the inverter. Also, I will make the schematic available. I didn't make it available right away as I've learned that, well, sometimes you have to work through little bugs to get everything working. And I didn't want to share something that wasn't ready. I'm there now. I think the system is working uh, good. And so stay tuned for the schematic.
right, let's get ready to roll.